Happy Love Island Day! Woo! Hey! Hey! <laughs> hey guys, it's your girl Brandy, aka Brandy4. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome to my channel. If you are new here, I do lots of videos on Love Island, commentary videos on pop culture, blah 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 blah. So if you like any of those things, make sure you subscribe to my channel. Click that subscribe button, especially because I'm definitely going to be reviewing Love Island Season 9 of the UK. Like I said in my last video, I'm not holding back. So if you want to hear some real thoughts and feelings about this cast, please follow because I'm saying it how it is. <laughs> and let's get into it. For starters, I have to admit that this was a pretty strong episode. I think it was just as strong as last season, which I was a little scared about since the winter season from Love Island season 6 was just not great. It was very boring, so that's why I had very low expectations for this winter season. However, with the new host, Maya James, wow! Can we talk about that for a second? She is fine! I know I'm not from the UK, so I'm not aware of like how big she is in the UK, but yeah, Love Island producers did what they needed to do by replacing Laura Whitmore with Maya because wow, like, yeah, improvement to the extreme. She just has the energy for this. She just, she gives off the aura Caroline Flack gave off, rest in peace Caroline. And that's why I'm really messing with Maya James. However, I ain't gonna hold you, Maya James. She's serving a little more than the girls. <laughs> I ain't gonna hold you. I was like, dang, like, sis is, she's cute. She is cute. So shout out to the producers for casting Maya James. I do like how the first day of coupling, they did not do what they did last season, that the public had to choose who each islander would be coupling up with. Thank God they didn't do that because that was really annoying last season. You could tell, remember India's face when she was coupled up with Kenna? She wanted to be coupled up with Dami since day one, but because of that foolish change from that season, yes, I wanted something different. I am disappointed that it wasn't different, but at this point, I'm not even going to stress out about it because it's only episode one and episode one is never like the best episode anyway. So don't care that much. Yes, that being said, I wanted to just review these new couples <laughs> and my thoughts on them. So let's get right into it. So first of all, I'm definitely going to talk about my girl Tanya. My girl Tanya and she's coupled up with Shaq. She was the first girl to come out. So... Of course, I was extremely nervous about that because, you know, you know how they usually do black girls on this show. So, yeah, it was natural for me to be extremely nervous for her. But, of course, Shaq, he saved the day. Does that mean I like him? No, I'm just... Honestly, I hope for the best because, honestly, they do seem like they're vibing pretty well. Like, they seem... Like, they would have a lot in common. That's why I'm not upset over this coupling. Because usually it's like, okay, they would pair the two Black people together and they would have nothing in common and they would not vibe at all. But them two are surprisingly vibing. So I am glad. And Shaq, he's actually cuter than his promo video, to be honest. So I'm surprised with that. But yeah, I, I really want them to make it i actually do like them together i think they bounce off of each other pretty well but you just never know you just never know that's why i'm not i'm not putting too much into it i'm really just going to try to have an open mind about the situation but yeah i'm very scared for Shaq. He does seem like he would have a wandering eye especially since he did admit to also being attracted to Danielle. Probably because she's curvy, which makes sense. But yeah, very scared about that one. And honestly, they better not do my girl Tanya dirty. They better not. I was already mad at Will. She was the first one to step out, right? And then Will wants to be like, you look gorgeous by the... He didn't have to say all that just to not step forward for her. Why did you say that then? You did all that. You gassed her head up and then you didn't step forward for her. But anyways, next I want to talk about anime. Anime came out and 
eventually got coupled up with Harris. Anna Mae, she originally went for Kai, then got her man taken by Olivia, but then Olivia got her man taken by Tanyelle. So then Anna Mae eventually had to couple up with Harris. And from my first impressions video, I did say that Harris seemed like the F-boy type. I still stand by that, especially considering his age. I didn't realize how young he was. He's 21. So yeah, definitely an F-boy. <laughs> I saw that from a mile away. Yeah, anime seems like she's treading lightly. She's not really putting like too much into this coupling or any of the guys that she said that she was into because not only is she interested in Harris but of course she's still interested in Kai so yeah I don't know I think she's definitely playing her cards close to her chest and she doesn't want to fully you know commit to any relationship right now which makes perfect sense I I'm not, I'm honestly not getting the vibe from her and Harris. And I think it's because, I don't know, actually. Because I would think that their, you know, personalities would mesh well. But for some reason, it's not meshing. And honestly, I think it's because Harris is more into Olivia. So Olivia now. Olivia, Olivia, Olivia. <laughs> It's so funny because in my first impressions video, I was like, yeah, she's going to be the drama of the season. And I agree with that. I definitely think she's going to be the drama of the season. She is obviously into Harris, but just like anime, she was also initially into Kai, which is why she stole Kai from anime during the first coupling. <laughs> Karma is a B because then she eventually got Kai taken from her, just like how she took him from anime. So very funny because then she eventually had to couple up with will who she is not attracted to <laughs> remember in my last video when i said will would be the hugo of the season the dr alex of the season yeah that's exactly what's going on <laughs> bro how do i get these i literally called it <laughs> like i called it the second i heard that he was a farmer i was like yeah no <laughs> I was like, this is not about to work. And if it does not work, if he does not find love within the next two weeks, I want him off the show. I don't care. I don't care. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, blah, blah, blah. I don't care. From when they coupled up with each other, it was so awkward. <laughs> they were very uncomfortable. <laughs> it was so funny. But honestly... Yeah, I called it. Will is literally going to be the Hugo this season. And I'm just, I hate that Love Island always puts the Hugo in a season. I don't need to feel sorry for anyone right now. I really don't. So yeah, I'm giving him two weeks to get it together. Or I don't want him on the show. I want him off the show within two weeks if he doesn't find anyone. And then yeah, I thought it was really funny how they were talking about tattoos and Will showed Olivia his initial <laughs> tattoo on his ankle basically admitting that he has another girl's name tatted on him which is like why would you mention that on the first day that's something i would keep to myself <laughs> it's like that's not really helping your case she definitely doesn't like you now <laughs> but yes obviously olivia is just not attracted to will in the slightest but she definitely is into harris and it's funny because even though she didn't choose Harris, because initially Harris and Will stepped forward for her, but then she ended up picking Kai. But then Kai stepped forward for Tanyelle when they had coupled up. So definitely a, a slap to the face for Olivia. So that's probably why she's not really putting her eggs in Kai's basket anymore because she's like, yeah, no, that was kind of disrespectful, which it was. And now she's giving Harris another chance honestly i said this in my first impressions video that olivia and harris were going to get together i literally said that and it's so funny because their age gap they have a huge age gap they're both attracted to each other however harris is 21 and olivia is 27 so in the next recoupling they're clearly going to couple up with each other 
I, this is my thinking. If they do couple up with each other, guaranteed Harris is going to play Olivia. I, I called this. I was like, bruh, they just look like they're going to mesh. They look like they're going to mesh. They look like they're going to like each other. And it looks like Harris is going to play Olivia. I won't be surprised if that happens. <laughs> and yes, so when Danielle comes out, all the guys besides Shaq step forward for her, including Kai, who was coupled up with Olivia. And yeah, Danielle goes straight for Kai. Kai, oh my gosh, I am actually like surprised by his personality. I thought he was going to be a sweet guy. I'm not saying that he isn't sweet, but from this first episode, I'm like, wow, like you're really giving Brown Adam Collard. <laughs> it's so weird. It's like, wow, the light-skinned Adam Collard. And it's... It's crazy because they look exactly alike. They have the same face. So it's kind of like, wow, and he's a player too. This is scary, y'all. This is scary. This is real scary. And Tanya knows this. She knows this. That's why, once again, just like anime, she's keeping her cards very close to her chest. She's like, I don't got time. I'm going to scope out the other guys in the meantime because I'm not trying to get played by this biracial <laughs> but yeah Tanyelle she really gives me Anna from season five vibes it's actually insane because she has like the same body type same face kind of she kind of sounds like her as well it's it's weird is she from London yes next we have is Lana and Ron yeah Lana she's gorgeous like my gosh she's gorgeous and she seems like she's good vibes and it's so funny because in my last video i mentioned from first impressions that ron he needs someone who's a little more outspoken than he is and i think lana is perfect for him to be quite honest and i found it really surprising that ron he said that he was blind in his left eye i believe and that's actually great that love island producers they're bringing more people with disabilities onto the show just like last season last season with tasha what I tell you, and it's so funny because in my first impressions video, I was like, Ron gives me Andrew vibes. And now he's coupled up with Lana, who's blonde. They both given they're giving Andrew and Tasha 2.0. Am I bugging? Am I bugging? Please comment below if you agree. Cause are you serious? They're literally they're they're perfect for each other. I'm sorry, honestly. They're kind of my favorite couple at the moment because you can just tell right away that they're into each other. They're actually actively getting to know each other and I love that. So I don't know. I, I'm, I have high hopes for them too. And I think they would be finalists, to be honest. Like granted, there is going to be, you know, hiccups in the relationship similar to <laughs> Andrew and Tasha, but I really do think they're gonna make it far. Like I, I, I know for a fact. But then yes, and then towards the end of the episode, we see a new bombshell Tom walk in. He's a footballer. I think he's twenty three. Um, he kind of looks like he has cheek implants. Am I bugging? I don't know. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. But um, yeah, I guess he would fall under most of the girls' types besides Tanya, to be honest. But yeah actually i don't know maybe tanya likes white guys i don't know wouldn't be surprised if lana was into him because he did mention that he's into blondes so he's probably gonna try to crack on with her and lana's really cute so yeah i know ron is gonna be nervous about that i'm telling you it's so crazy it's really giving tasha and andrew like they're giving tasha and andrew i'm sorry like seriously Ron and Lana are literally giving Tasha and Andrew. There's going to be drama because Ron is obviously going to be more into Lana. Lana's going to want to get to know other guys, but she's obviously still going to be really into Ron. <laughs> and they're going to like make it far and they're going to be a great happy couple towards the end. Like I'm calling it. I'm calling it. I think the women who will be into Tom would be Anna Mae, Olivia, and Tanya. Tanya, like, I think she's going to give him a chance and whatnot only because she doesn't want to put all her eggs in Kai's basket. However, I don't think she's going to be into him like that. I think Kai is actually her type. Olivia. Olivia, I think she just wants to entertain 
the idea of Tom would not see what he's all about. I wouldn't be surprised if she decides to couple up with Harris in the end though. Anime, anime is a hard one. I think she would be into Tom, but still, I don't really know who she's into though. She's kind of just like, not, she doesn't seem like she's into the guys, to be honest. Like, yeah, the guys are into her, but yeah, not so much with him. And it's funny because Kai, he had mentioned that he's still attracted to anime. So, and that's, and that's the other thing. Like, I don't know. It's going to be a weird one. Like, I wouldn't be surprised if Kai lost interest in Tanyelle and went with anime. But also, I just don't know if anime is actually feeling him. I don't know. It's a weird one. She's not giving me a vibe of who she's feeling. But yeah, this was an interesting first episode so far. No complaints, honestly. For the comment that Harris made over only dating women with size five feet, like, so you want a baby? You want a child? Okay, interesting. That's weird. That's weird. Yeah, I think the season will be pretty good. I hope they bring more black people on the season. More black girls, more black guys. Like, come on, bruv. Please don't let it just be <laughs> one black person, you know? Like, come on, let's let's bring some people. Also, yes, like I said in my last video, I want new challenges. I want y'all to take the food swapping challenge out. Please take that out. Please take it out. Please take it out. I don't want to see that. I don't want to see that. Did y'all peep how windy it was <laughs> in this episode? I'm like, dang, people about to be wearing sweaters this season. <laughs> it definitely is giving winter season because that wind was just like, <laughs> I was like, oh, dang. Like, ooh, okay. Yeah, I'm not complaining. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below on this first episode. I think this is going to be a strong season, to be honest. I think someone's man's gonna get tooken. I know somebody's gonna get their heart broken. So let me know in the comments, like who do you think is gonna get their heart broken this season? I really wanna know. And yeah, please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Please make sure you subscribe. I'm going to be coming out with weekly reviews and recaps on the season of Love Island. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, I know people, a lot of people have been watching my Love Island USA season two content since they recently put it on Hulu and I think Netflix. So definitely make sure you watch my videos on that. I'll link it up here for you to see. So yeah, great. Bye.